chambers and their supposed benefits and healing powers. Much of the medical profession, though, believes the jury is still out, that there is little evidence that they actually make a difference. But try telling that to the Idaho family that Linda Aylesworth met, who say a B.C. hyperbaric chamber has performed a near miracle on their daughter. Well, at one point, um, the doctor walked in the room and he, and he looked at me and he said, you know, she'll probably be in a wheelchair and maybe speak a few words. And I just looked at him and I said, you are not God. <laughs> it was just last year when Stephanie Martin suffered serious brain damage in a horse riding accident. Unwilling to accept defeat, her mother set out to find someone, something that could help Stephanie. The search led them from their home in Idaho to the hyperbaric care center in Port Coquitlam. The first time we came was in February and we came for 40 dives then. And like I said, she was not doing anything. It was like she was just, she couldn't do anything, literally. The first time she came to the clinic, the only thing she could do on her own was basically breathing. She was not talking, she was not moving, she could not even sit up. The Martins heard that hyperbaric treatments might help. They also heard the hour-long sessions that cost up to $250 in the United States were just $75 in Canada. Today, they regularly cross the border. This is Stephanie's 160th treatment. How is it supposed to work? Part of her brain was not getting enough oxygen into it, and so the cells there are, have just enough to be alive, but not enough to function. And so with hyperbaric oxygen, it brings the oxygen directly into the area, into the cells where it's needed the most, and also reduces the swelling, and so the cells are able to function much better. There's a lot of controversy over hyperbaric therapy when it comes to treating brain disorders. Some studies conclude it's a waste of time and money. That's not the way Lori feels. We've just seen nothing but healing since we've been here. It's just like boom, boom, boom. Every time we come and we go back home and it's more healing. You can see why Lori believes when you look at the home videos that document Stephanie's recovery. From barely being able to move her foot enough to knock over a stuffed toy. Keep going, Steph. That's so good. To gaining enough motor skills to turn pages in a book. And her doctors back home never believed she'd be able to feed herself. It's possible that Stephanie's brain would have healed itself without hyperbarics, but that she stood up and walked for the first time two months ago, even though doctors predicted she'd never get out of a wheelchair, makes you wonder. Maybe in time she would have came around. I don't know. I don't know that, but time is like, time is very valuable to us, and it's quality of life. You know, it's what we have every day, and she's getting that back. She's getting quality of life back. And she's able to communicate. She can write without any trouble all the names of the people closest to her. And best of all, she can talk again. And that girl and Becky and Becky and it's incredible. Yeah, it's just it's beyond words. It's like, you know, she was not there and now she's coming back. The Martins will return to their home in Idaho tomorrow, but they'll be back after Christmas for 40 more sessions in the hyperbaric chamber.